Good morning, everyone. I'm gonna try not to faff with my hair too much because I'm obviously getting ready to leave the house, which is something that's happening more and more recently. I'm leaving my house. I need to remember to put my wedding rings on because I only apparently wear them when I leave the house. But um, this is me from the past. Okay, you may have had some videos of me more recently, but this is, this is going back to, what is today's date? Today's date is eight. It's not the time. The date is the 10th of August and I am shooting my next collection with Karen Millen today and to say that I am excited about this particular collection would be an understatement because I feel like out of every edit, out of every collection, this, this is my peak, okay? I am literally peaking and I'm going to show you each and every single outfit that we're shooting today, give you a behind the scenes of the shoot, which I think is very close to my heart because this, this collection, just to give it a bit of a reveal, is the Heritage Collection. And I have been working on this since I think before Christmas. That was when the initial brainchild, when we were like, let's come together, let's encapsulate everything I love about country living, heritage, beautiful craftsmanship when it comes to tailored outerwear, tailored trousers at this time of year, fabrics, and all of that really has been encapsulated into this collection. We've used the finest fabrics for this, silk cottons, Italian wools, all of the magic has gone into this and I am so, so excited to show you behind the scenes. There is gonna be a horse on set today as well, which I am actually really excited about. I wanna get on the horse. I wanna do one of those shots where you like lie on the horse and look really ethereal. That's what um, I'm hoping for. I'm shooting with Katie today who I worked with on, I think one of my first collections, maybe my, one of my edits and she now is someone that I work with really regularly. We just get on so well and work together so well with such a vibe. And that is basically the plan of action for today. So I am wearing today um, a little two piece from Vita Grace. This is just something that I've thrown on and um, I've got Hermes boots because we are gonna be, in fact, let me show you like this. Sorry about the mess. I'm still having a huge clear out in here, but I'm wearing Hermes boots and uh, my Hermes bag and my little twilly that I got from the online store. And I've got sunglasses as well and a big old cardigan because it could get cold today. So um, that's the plan of action. The car is ready to go. I've got Alex with me. I've got fresh nails, which you would have seen in another video. And um, fresh hair as well, so we're all good to go. <laughs> it's Porcini Mushroom. I'll miss you. Be good for your uncle today who you're going to stay with. You'll be good. No pooping on the carpet. I'll meet you when I get home. I'm a little bit of a boy. But, I'm excited. Yeah, the crowd was weird, everyone was really into it. And it wasn't like, it was a setback, like it wasn't. Good morning, everyone. We have arrived here in the countryside. I think this is Little Missenden. And I know these parts very well because um, my grandparents always lived in the like kind of area as a kid. And we've arrived to a farm. Apparently Vogue have shot here, which is very beautiful. We have an extra large crew today. And uh, I get so nervous because there's so many people here. Um, but it's at this beautiful farm and apparently the whole family lives here, which is so cute. Everyone's got all of the um, outfits and things to come along with us. So another little house there. We've got the crew, we've got Alex, who's enjoying her breakfast as usual. <laughs> and Carrie in the background, whole, whole squad. But we are basically, this is like 600 acres or something like that. So we're gonna be traveling via coach to most of the locations. I think the first location, which we are shooting this dress, which I'll show you a little bit more of when we get there, by the lake, which looks pretty incredible. But we are jumping on the coach to head to the first location. So first things first. We have to change from that van to the Range Rover. I'll climb across. I'll walk up and you two go in. No, Alex, Carrie, you get in. Honestly. This is an adventure. Do you want Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> this is the scariest shoot I've ever done. Next year we're going to go up a mountain. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I'd get you there one day. <laughs> <laughs> Only for the day. No camping. <laughs> <laughs> You're ready. <laughs> How are we doing here, Millen? Doing fab. Absolutely fab. <laughs> Change your room in a horse box. <laughs> oh, that was my like shoe. Please, please tell me you can't. That was like a comedy. <laughs> <laughs> the blooper. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. 1920, yeah? I think yeah. some of the spiders have been here that long as well. <laughs> <laughs> a generation. Yeah. <laughs> Family guys. Oh my god. Hold on to my shoulder. Yeah, you're fine. I'm in. I'm in. Okay. okay. And then just sit at the end of the boat. I don't know how long I'm in here for, but. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh wow. This is the most fun ever. Good. <laughs> <laughs> It is! Wow. It's okay. You've got your cooler now, aren't you? Yeah. You're the cops. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Have you showed Lydia the reference? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Do you want any From more doors or anything? Okay, okay, okay. I'm just going to show you the reference. Oh, the crazy shit I've made, you know. Are you okay? Yes, yeah, yeah. I think I'll be back. You look amazing. Yeah, when we're out of here, I'll be absolutely fine. This is like something out. I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. Oh, you know, yeah. oh my god! And then there's huge trap about this thing, and they put it on the moon under here. Smashed I'm going to take the rope and... Oh, I don't know. Still you did great! Yeah. <laughs> I think she really liked them. Yeah, it's so hard because I couldn't see, so I was like, ah! So we are on to the third location, and this is my changing room. <laughs> Jeremy Clarkson, eat your heart out. Although, it, this isn't a Lamborghini combine harvester, so I don't know whether he's into that kind of thing, but I'm sure that class is very good as well. But yeah, this is where I'm getting changed. I didn't get a chance to tell you before or show you, but that was quite out of my comfort zone going on the boat because not only was there probably the worst cobwebs and spiders I think I have ever seen in my life. Like they were like, oh, let's go, let's go change in here. And I just looked through and I thought, no, there's gonna be loads of spiders in there. And then I ha actually had to go in there in order to get into the boat and nothing could have prepared me for what it looked like in there. It was like something out of a horror film and I don't think I've fully processed what it was like in there, but it was very lovely being on the water. And now I have a life goal to have a lake and my own little rowing boat basically on it because that was so nice. And the water was really clear as well. So it was, it was lovely. But now we are on our third location and our third look, not this one. This is, oh no, I'm wearing my, my um, um, welly, boots. welly boots, but never mind. Which it's the look. knitwear because this was something that I was very, very excited about. This knitwear is basically, you can wear it as a two piece or you can wear it obviously on its own. This is the dream jumble dress and it's got a bit of stretch to it as well, so it's super comfortable, super soft. And then we have the long line cardigan that also comes in the short version and oh, it is just the best cable knit ever. Then we've got slightly like balloon sleeves as well, just to add that drama. And of course I've cinched it in with the belt because that is what I do with everything. But I love this, especially with my wellies. <laughs> This is 
number three, and this is, I, I say this every single time, but this coat is the kind of craftsmanship that I have only ever seen in like Burberry. It feels and looks like it's just fallen right off the catwalk and I'm obsessed. It comes in like four different colors. This is my personal favorite and teamed with my little roll neck um, cable knit jumper. It looks so perfect. I love a little tone on tone look. We're shooting it here in the wheat fields and I feel quite at home here. It's nice. We've got one more look after this and is it lunch then? Perfect, lunch time. <laughs> look number four and I think that the biggest thing about this collection is the outerwear. The outerwear is just, I think always with Karen Millen, the outerwear is the strongest and us doing this together, there are just so many details to every piece that I absolutely love. This one has this kind of like mock pony hair finish to the breast and the arms, which just gives it a really nice amount of depth from your usual like black coat. Then it's got the beautiful kind of champagne -y silver snapple details to the waist, which again, such a touch. I love everything kind of equestrian vibes. And it's really lovely and warm. So warm that when you're wearing it on an August day, the sweat tash is real. Um, but we're gonna go and shoot this one now and then it's lunchtime. <laughs> Press on your legs. Oh, yeah, yeah. Do you just ask for your bum to be sprayed? Yeah. Is it nice? <laughs> yeah, that I've got Oh, that actually looks really nice. <laughs> oh, dear. Anyway, nothing to see here. Oh, <laughs> just spray. Yeah, oh my god, yeah. I'll just keep spraying. Probably Sorry, Chris, I nicked your idea. Do you know what I have there, love? How is your nature airing? <laughs> I literally just aired out my bum cheeks in public. <laughs> 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 How's that for on brand? <laughs> <laughs> Up you go. I'm gonna shoot <laughs> huh? this rear on our tripod and then I'm gonna airing go out your legs. Yeah. So I wanna <laughs> walk. Up you go, Chris So we've just stepped off the coach to the Jurassic Park theme tune, which feels very exciting because we're in this like massive field. There's no one around and we're about to shoot my first look with an actual horse. I mean, I've shot with horses before, we know this, but I'm very excited for this one because it's, this is the kind of shoot that I love. I'm wearing a pair of jumpers, which when we worked on this pair together, I was like, I want these particular trousers to be perfect. Like, you feel amazing in them, but still have that real kind of heritage equestrian vibe. And look how high waisted they are. <laughs> we do these in so many colors as well. And I just feel amazing in them. Not to mention the most beautiful silk cotton blouse I think I have ever, ever seen. It's got the beautiful pin tuck detail from my previous collection. I really, really wanted to pull that through into this collection, but give it a more autumnal feel. And we've gone for all of the drama in the sleeves. Oh, this shirt is so beautiful. I've already decided that I'm gonna have like three or four of these on rotation in my wardrobe. So I'm feeling very excited for this shoot and I'm having a lovely day. Oh, and this is look five. Look five. <laughs>
finished up with the horses and there is a little bit of b-roll there which was absolutely incredible now they want to get a shot of the horses running behind me very majestic and slightly frightening <laughs> um, but we've changed into a different look this is the trench coat and i think this gives me all of the sort of vintage trench, trench coat vibes i feel like my grandma would have literally worn one of these back in the day and we're kind of bringing that back which i love um, but yeah now it's time to head over to the horses and have a theatrical day What ta it, Millen, it's four o'clock and you've just I had know, lunch. I know, but I did get a curly whirly and that wasn't there before, so I'm very, very happy about my curly whirly. And I've been telling everyone the same joke and I think everyone thinks I'm really weird, but let me know in the comments down below if you watched The Thin Blue Line, because my favorite line from that is, is that a truncheon in your truncheon pocket? Yeah. Actually, it's a curly whirly. <laughs> <laughs> And that is the creepiest thing you've ever heard on my channel. You're welcome. Yeah, I think I'm on a horse. Two packets of what sits down, a diet coke. I'm gonna wash it down. And then I'm, having, like, I'm having dessert. That sounds like a new 90s TV program. Like two packets of lager and a packet of crisps. Two packets I love of what sits down. I love that. And pudding is a curly whirly and sesame snaps. Yes. Curly whirly is more of the. I've still got what's it fingers. <laughs> Fuzzy. <laughs> Little woolies. Hello. <laughs> it's a little one. It's kind of so difficult with the work to pay out. So it's mine, yeah? Every <laughs> So outfit seven is probably the one that I have been waiting for you all to see for so long. This is obviously another piece that we're continuing on throughout the collections, but we've given it a little bit of a heritage vibe and I am so excited to show you it, especially seeing as we've got the like matching trousers as well and teamed with the silk cotton blouse. I just feel like this is such a me look. So I'd love to know if this is one of your favorites because I always say that every single outfit is my favorite, but this one I think we saved the best till almost last, not yet. And my dad is going to be so jealous because I am getting to slightly drive, probably very slowly and very carefully, this Porsche. And um, I kind of want one now. <laughs> so I want a horse, I want a Porsche, I want everything from this shoot. I want a lake with a boat, I want it all. But this is very exciting, very, very exciting. Let's go. drive? Um, Nerve-wracking, because I've also got to try and like look remotely presentable whilst I'm doing it. Is that it, way or the other way? Not yeah, easy because you're like... <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's very nice. Someone check your hair. And the final look for the day is this Mac, which we kind of put all of our ideas together in order to create this. There's some real kind of heritage-inspired fabrics in this, but we wanted to give a real modern twist to a Mac. I love the peplum detailing of it because I just think it gives a slight more elegance to it, but then it's got all of the, the components that make a really lovely Mac. Something really classic, but with a little bit of me in there. And that's it for the day. And I hope that you've enjoyed seeing all of the outfits and coming on what has been my most favorite location to date. I've literally been in a classic car, I've been in a boat, and I've been with horses as well, not to mention all of the other animals that were here. So it's been pretty wonderful. So let's go home.
Yeah, amazing. Good morning, everyone. It is now a week later after the initial campaign shoot, and today is gallery shoot day. This means that I'm going to be shooting every single look for the website, and I am really, really excited because this means that you get to see even more than usual of the outfits and the pieces on me. Honestly, all I wanted to do this morning was to wear bits from my collection because I'm that much in love with it. But instead, today I am wearing this. I've got some linen trousers on and this kind of like knitted roll neck, which I absolutely love. It's kind of like a um, oatmeal-y color. And some Hermes boots and my Hermes bag with Twilly. Bit of a mess in here because we've been packing my bag because I obviously have to take lots of different pieces of underwear and accessories and things like that to style things up with, because I'm very particular. I like things to be styled up with things from my wardrobe so that it's just how I would style it basically. But we are gonna jump in the taxi now and head to London for an entire day of shooting for the Karen Millen website. We have arrived onto the gallery shoot set and breakfast is served. We've gone for a pret and I've got the porridge, many a pot of compote and honey and sugar and then some granola as well because you know I couldn't choose so I wanted both and then for the car home we have some croissant perfect and a coffee to start the day so we are in outfit number one of the gallery shoot and I am wearing the jumpers that are in this beautiful kind of caramel color as well I just can't get over how well these fit they are just the absolute dream like even how high-waisted they are just how they completely pull you in I love them so I've styled them up with what is going to be our kind of classic white shirt but with this snaffle detailing in more of like a burnished brass and we've got the burnished brass buttons as well and uh, I will show you the full look on set <laughs> Outfit number two. You would have seen this already on uh, the campaign shoot day. These are two of my absolute favorite pieces from the collection. These are the chocolate jodhpurs and the pin tuck blouse. This is just another level. Like that drama in the sleeves makes me so happy. And these are just so flattering. And the thing that I love about these jodhpurs is, first of all, the shape. I've spoken about it already, but these are the absolute like goat of shapes and also we haven't gone overboard with like branding it's all really subtle just like a real classic pair of jodhpurs you've got the seam detailing and the padding detailing to the knees you've also got just a little bit of burnished brass on there that gives it a really nice antique feel but these are a classic jodhpur which looks and feels and holds you in like a good pair of jeans which i love Okay, look number three. We've kept on the pin tuck blouse because I'm gonna just find any excuse to wear it with absolutely everything. This is just one of my favorite pieces. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Um, then we've popped it with a classic leather mini with the, with the snaffle detailing as well, which you'll see kind of running through the entire collection. And it's the perfect length, as you can see. But I love a kind of white and black classic, but with this equestrian vibe for this one. It just looks absolutely perfect. So now we're gonna, gonna get on set and shoot it. This is the shirt version of the dress that everyone went mad for that was on my stories. And it is absolutely beautiful. What I wanted to create was a beautiful winter floral dress because I love florals so much and I find that in winter they are so forgotten about and I don't want them limited to spring summer so I wanted to create quite a dark but romantic feeling floral and I really feel that we've done that with this. I also like the sort of preppy almost heritage feel that the stripe has because it's got these taupey colours but then some deep reds and some greens in there. There is definitely a very lovely heritage 
green in there, which we all know I love. So it's got this pussy bow detailing and really dramatic sleeves. I love how this has turned out and I love it in the dress version. It comes in a short dress, which I will show you shortly. <laughs> Pardon the pun. And um, also the longer version as well, which was part of the campaign and it is beautiful. So we're gonna get on set and shoot this one. I absolutely love this shirt. Oh my goodness. It has a real beautiful silk equestrian scarf theme to it. And it just looks so perfect with the black detailing to the collar and the cuffs. And again, with those almost vintage inspired stripes as well. It just gives it that really lovely feel. A little bit Gucci, a little bit Hermes. It's, yeah, it's very, very lovely. And I've teamed it with my horse bit skirt as well because it just makes a nice classic look. And of course, we've gone for all of the drama in the sleeves, which is um, what we always do because I love a little bit of drama. The dress that stole the show. You will see this in full length again. This is also from Campaign and I've styled it up with the belt that comes with it. And it's got really beautiful aged brass detailing again and the little pussy bow with the stripes. This is more of a midi dress and one of the ladies from Caramelin described this as a very good Christmas day dress. So if you're planning your Christmas day outfits already, if you're ahead of schedule, then this could be a good one. But I just love this as something to wear for winter but still feel really beautiful and feminine. It's got that winter floral uh, feel to it as well but with really beautiful blush tones running through it. I absolutely love this and I think that this might be my favorite dress from the entire collection. The final piece in the winter floral story is this short dress with the striped collar and cuffs. It's again teamed with this waist belt and I can see this being the perfect transitional dress because obviously it's got the long sleeve so if you want to layer up and put maybe like a, a cashmere long sleeve top underneath to warm you up, you can do so and you can wear it bare legged or you can wear it with tights. I've teamed it with some brown Christian Louboutin boots just purely to soften the black and complement the warmer tones throughout it but this is so beautiful on. And again, we have the drama in the sleeves, which I love. I am big time, thanks mate. Just saying to Alex that I really hope that one day I'm like successful enough to have her do my makeup every single day. And she was saying that basically I could just lie in bed and she would just do my makeup and then I'm ready to, to seize the day. Um, but, we can wish. Um, this dress is absolutely beautiful and the belt that comes with this is probably my favourite out of the entire belt collection that comes with a lot of my stuff. This is kind of like a bit of a nod to an old Caramillan belt that I had where it had this sort of like, well it feels almost like an equestrian vibe, that's going to be the word. Take a shot every time I say equestrian vibe but I just love this one and again it's got that burnished brass detailing which is great because you'll be able to wear this particular metal throughout the entire collection. And then it's got a little bit more of a spanned angle when it comes to the buttons. We've gone a little bit more sort of detailed, but I think that it adds to this dress really beautifully because it has this beautiful horse bit print throughout, which just makes me think of vintage scarves every time I look at it. And um, I think the contrast of it works really well. And it's a really lovely color. And Carrie just said to me, I think that that's my favorite dress. And um, that makes me very happy. <laughs> And this is the white colorway of the dress. Now this really does give me old school Gucci vibes. This is such a like nod at old school Gucci and I love, love, love that. It's got heritage green and a really beautiful deep uh, burgundy that runs through the front and on the cuffs as well. And then of course it has this horse bit snaffle print throughout and it just looks beautiful. But this is the different colorway to the other dress and it looks so Wonderful. I love it with the belt as well. And I was going to say that if you struggle with the belts that come with some of the caramelin pieces to fit, this is going to be the belt that does fit you. If you're slightly smaller on your waist, 
this one is probably the one that fits me the best. It doesn't need like any extra holes added. It just fits and I've actually got an extra hole. So it's perfect. Uh, this is one of the best, I think, knitwears ever because it has the chunkiness of cable knit, which I love, but it also has comfort, so it's not itchy, it's beautiful and soft, it's stretchy. You can cinch it in and layer it up. So I've layered the jumper dress version, which has like drama in the sleeves. I think that there is an actual terminology for drama in the sleeves other than that I think it's like bell sleeves but I call them drama sleeves and um, I love this like cable knit on cable knit look I think it works so well so we're going to shoot it like this to begin with and then we're going to cinch in the cardigan over the top to make it this kind of tone on tone cable knit on cable knit vibe this is how we shot the campaign and I absolutely loved it and I've also teamed it with some brown suede boots sorry this mirror is a little bit uh difficult to show in but it's what we've got here so I'll show you things on set but these two pieces again are two of my favorites okay this is one of the pieces that you will only get the full effect when you see it on set but this is a ankle length knitted jumper dress and this is one of those pieces that when you, I walked around the corner everyone went oh wow because it's also got really lovely side splits but it's got the same cable knit as the other pieces as well and it's got the the drama and the balloon sleeves but it's soft and comfortable we basically said that this was one of those outfits that you can wear on Christmas day and feel so comfortable because it's warm cozy and soft as well I absolutely love this and I'm probably going to wear this with flat boots as well because I've got it on at the moment because I always feel so short when I'm on these gallery shoots because I'm not a model um, I always wear the biggest heels ever but I'd probably wear this with flat boots as well I was just saying that I think they would look really lovely with those very fashionable Bottega boots if you are very cool that have like the chunky soles but then the really skinny ankles I think that that would look lovely but this is a firm favorite I think this one's gonna fly So say hello to the Argyle print of dreams. This was something I wanted in my autumn winter wardrobe last year and I couldn't find the jumper dress that I wanted. And so when we set about planning this collection, this was first on my list, a really beautiful and soft, but also detailed knitted dress. And it's got the really beautiful dramatic sleeves. I feel like there's just gonna be so many things that I repeat, but this collection really is, in synergy with my style and so drama in the sleeves is something I always go for and then it's got a high neck and I always prefer these mock turtlenecks that don't roll over I don't like the way oh, I'm not even showing you there I don't like the way um, a lot of knitwear rolls over because it just doesn't suit me it almost accentuates the fact that I don't have much of like a chin <laughs> So this always suits me so much better and I just feel that it looks better on my neck But this has really beautiful tones through it as well It's got this kind of oatmeal and then grey and then this deep maroon Which is going to be so perfect and again with tights and flat boots This will look so lovely every time I put these jodhpurs on I'm like ah oh, I can't believe that we created these but we are wearing it with the last shirt in the horse bit print story and I think it works really well with this color. Say that again. It's a proper heritage Scottish jumble. <laughs> Carrie's making fun of me because I said something funny earlier. But this is the short version of the uh, jumper dress, the Argyle print. And this is something that you can probably belt as well. You could tuck this in to the jumpers, but I just think these colors all work really well together. It just looks like a very cozy outfit, but this will also go with skirts and layer under pieces really nicely. I think this is really nice. And everyone's laughing at me because I run out of words to say about things that I like. So I'm just like, this is really nice. I love it. It's amazing. Yay. <laughs> Thank you.
I am feeling rather sluggish after lunch, but we're back at shooting the outfits. So you can hear rather raucous outside, but um, I'm shooting one of my favorite outfits. This is, it's sort of like a, a suit. I loved making our sleeveless jackets so much and they've been a continuing story through all of my collections, but this one is by far the best one we have created because you have these lapels that you can fold up and you can secure across the neck as well. So you give it a completely different feel. You can style this over jumpers or even a leather jacket so that you've got contrasting sleeves. But I have styled it with the pin tuck blouse because it looks beautiful. And we wanted to create the perfect to the floor trouser in the same material. So you've got this really beautiful suit. And I just think it is so perfect. T-Rex dance. <laughs> we are now shooting some of the hero pieces from the collection, which are the outerwear. And one of the things I've said today is that Karen Millen has always been known for its outerwear. And for the new owners to come in and completely do it better than it was done before is incredible. I think that's such an achievement because this particular coat for me feels like it could be Burberry. It is such insane quality. The color of the wool and the shape, the silhouette, the detailing, all of it is so perfect. I personally, in the campaign, was wearing this with a belt just to kind of cinch it in at the waist. But now we are going to be thrashing out the coats, just putting them on over the top, shooting them. So it's gonna be a bit of a whirlwind, but I have Carrie Grayson on hand to film the coats as we're shooting in the studio. So you get to see all of them. is a wrap of this very beautiful building here. I don't even know where we are, but it's very beautiful and I love shooting here. <laughs> 